Hello all ladies and welcome to this CMD episode on how to move things. So first I will just show you my suite directory and you can see I have a bunch of text files here but I see that I'm missing my favorite book here. So in my library I will actually I will actually move uh, something really close to my heart from my library and that is the history of sweden.txt. I could just supply where I wanted to move this file so this is the source and then I supply the destination but since I want to move it into this folder I'm standing in right now I don't have to supply anything so I just hit enter and then I look in my directory and now we can see we have the history of Sweden here it's perfect and then if we want to move something inside my library I can just write move and maybe I will move I will move hello .txt into my library and I press enter you can now see that one file was moved so now we no longer have a hello in this directory but if we look inside the library we can see that it's now here everything is as it should be but what if we want to move something else like say file and we we already know that in my library I actually have another file called exactly the same thing file.txt so what will happen if I try to move a file into a directory we already have a file with the same name so we will just try so we will move file.txt into my li I cannot spell li library and then I get prompted if I want to override this thing and I could just, just hit uh, Y for yes but something I could do, I just hit uh, no now uh, something I could do is to add a flag or an option here before the source I can add forward slash Y to say that yes I want to override any files that have the same name uh, so this is one way of doing it and this will work so as you see now it was overridden and we can no longer see it here and if we go inside the library we see that we have the file.txt file here but I just want to show you another way of doing this so I will just create a new file.txt so what I do is I, I echo some nonsense characters inside of file.txt so we create a new folder sorry a new file and here we have it and now we will move it inside library once more uh, but this time we will not supply uh, y here what we could do instead is just to write echo and then y and then use this redirecting character or pipe character so what will happen now is that when I uh, when I try to move this file to library and I get prompted with uh, the question if I want to override or not I will uh, just look at what I echoed here previously so since I echo why like if I if I echo yes as answer and then I use this redirecting character it will shove this y into uh, this move command so it will know that I yes I indeed want to overwrite this file and as you can see one file was moved and now in my current directory I don't have the file.txt but what if you want to do something more extensive like move all uh, .txt files since it's a library I should really keep all my papers and notes there so what I then can do is just to move everything so I use this wildcard character and asterisk that will tell uh, the command that I will take everything that ends with .txt and move it into my library and what I also can do is that I will echo uh, I will actually echo A for all here so if it happens that these files already exist inside my library I will override them so it will prompt me the question do you want to override them and I will answer yes to it immediately by using this command so when I press enter you can now see that everything was moved and now everything is clean and my library is filled Thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.